Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. We're outside of the CVS. We're about to head in here and check out some deals. I just finished up over at Walgreens and that went really, really well today. So if you wanna check out my Walgreens haul, that's already up for you guys, got some good deals. But we're gonna head into CVS and see what we can pick up. I got an email with a $20 off of an $80 purchase CRT and I'm really excited about that because as you know, sometimes those prices can go up pretty high here at CVS, but using that 20 off of 80 plus all the manufacturer digital coupons, I think we can get some great savings, plus we're getting extra bucks back, all that good stuff. So we're gonna see what all we can pick up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. If this sounds like I'm speaking, you know, a different language, like what is couponing, what is CRTs, all of that good stuff, we're gonna get in here and I'm gonna help you coupon here at at CVS it's gonna be really easy all digital deals so if you're confused don't worry we're gonna we're gonna help you <laughs> and if you have questions leave them in the comments below but yeah we're gonna see what all we can pick up and if you enjoy the video don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones let's go check out the deals and we'll go over the receipt once we get back to the house <laughs> All right guys, so like I told you in the car, I'm gonna be using a 20 off 80 CRT today. So we've got a few different deals I wanna do and we have some good cosmetic deals. So let's get into it. The first deal I'm gonna do is the spin 20, get an $8 extra buck on Revlon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a couple of lip products. You can grab whatever you prefer, but we've got the little matte lips for $12.49. We've also got the kiss bombs for $7.29. These two total $19.78. If your store follows the 98% rule, we're at 98% of $20. We're gonna use a $5 digital coupon, pay $14.78, but get an $8 extra buck, making it $6.78 for these two. Next, we're going to do the CoverGirl Spin 12, get a $4 extra buck. So I'm going to grab one of the yummy lip glosses for $11.79. Again, I'm following that 98% rule. I'm going to use a $5 digital, pay $6.79, get a $4 extra buck, makes it just $2.79 for one of these. So that's a really good savings. The next deal I'm grabbing is on hair tools. So you can go ahead and you can get the $15 ones, get a $10 extra buck, makes them just $5 each. They have the curling irons. They also have this Con Air set. So if you need like the clippers, you could get those. And we also have some hair dryers down here that qualify as well. So you're gonna get one of these for a final cost of $5. The next deal we're doing is spend 30, get a $10 extra buck on select products. There's lots of items in the store that qualify for this today, but I'm going to grab a couple of laundry products. I'm going to grab these Gain Flings for $13.49. We have a $3 digital, and I'm going to grab this huge Gain liquid right here for $19.29, and we have a $4 digital coupon for this one. So let's go ahead and pick it up, and we're going to look at our scenario. All right, guys, so these are my products for this deal. This is going to total me $32.78. Use a $3 digital and a $4 digital. Pay $25.78 and get a $10 extra buck back, making it $15.78 for these two. And I think that's a pretty good deal. Next, guys, I wanted to show you this. So this has nothing really to do with um, couponing, but if you have like a percent off or something, you could use it. These are very small rolls for $5.99, but I really thought that this roll was super cute because it's just like positivity, like positive vibes. Um, what else did it say on it? Let's see here. You are worthy, manifest your day. Um, let's see there was something else that it said that caught my attention you're killing it i don't know just like really motivational and then anyways um also really cute little makeup and like little eye mask and stuff so super cute if you're wanting something like this to wrap some gifts so that's what I'm picking up today at CVS. It's going to be kind of a short and sweet trip. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and head over to self-checkout. Okay. This is my total with tax and before coupons. If you can you see I'm going to hit finish and pay. 
Okay, and then it's gonna pop up some options. Okay, so we've got what coupons I wanna use, I have my 20 off of an $80 purchase, I have all these extra bucks and my care pass that I wanna use to help lower my out-of-pocket cost, I have a $2 off of a $2 purchase, I'm gonna use that as well. All right, Stand and hit continue. Now. Touch and you're going to see this total drop. I'm hoping to get a pretty low out-of-pocket cost today. So see all those savings coming off and your manufacturer digitals will automatically come off as well as your other store coupons. Scan coupon now. All right, guys, check that out. $6 Scan with tax now. is how much I'm Touch paying out-of-pocket today. And we'll go over the receipt as soon as we get back to the house. Yeah, so we just got done at CVS. Everything went really well with the transaction as for coupons coming off, low out-of-pocket cost, all of that. The only issue I had is that my extra buck for CoverGirl did not print. Now, here's the thing. It didn't even show it where it'll show you on the receipt how much you have towards something. So, for example, if it wasn't going to print because the item I purchased was $11.79 and it was spend 12 get 4 it would have said, hey, you're a few cents away from earning that. But I know that my store does follow the 98% rule, so I know it will normally print the extra buck as long as you're at 98% of the amount you're supposed to spend. For example, on the Revlon, I was at like 1978 and it was spend 20. I still got the $8 extra buck. Now, once it didn't print, I asked my cashier about it. Even though I was at self-checkout, once I got done, I just walked over there and I told her that it was supposed to print the $4 extra buck, but it didn't. So she went back and she checked the sign and then she checked the item and she was like, well, I'm thinking that it didn't print because it's um, $11.79 and you're supposed to spend 12. So I normally don't even bring up the 98% rule at the store, to be honest, because sometimes it's just more of a hassle. Um, but I know that she, she's real nice and everything. And I figure, you know, either she will or she won't do it just depends. But I just went ahead and I said, well, I said a lot of times, you know, as long as you're at 98% of the amount, it does print you the extra buck. I said, for example, you can see on the Revlon that I purchased, it was spend 20. As long as I was at that certain amount, it did print it. But I said with the CoverGirl deal, it's not even showing on my receipt at all as if I didn't even purchase anything towards that to qualify towards it, you know? And if it said, oh, you need to spend a certain amount more, I could have bought another item. But basically, I just explained it in the most simple way I possibly could and she looked at it and she was like yeah I think it's weird that it's not even showing it on there at all so I'm gonna go ahead and do it um, so I did appreciate that but I just want to give you guys a heads up just in case there's any kind of issue with that cover girl deal that maybe is keeping the extra buck from printing so just a heads up, use caution with that one. Make sure you check and see if your extra buck prints so you don't get out of the store and then realize that you didn't get it. So just heads up, but we're gonna go home, we're gonna go over the receipt and we're gonna talk final cost of all of our items. I think we got some really great savings on everything that we picked up today. So let's go ahead and check out this receipt. All right, guys, I am back home, and here is my CVS haul for this week. It's kind of a smaller haul, but at the same time, I feel like I got some good items, got a huge thing of Gain liquid detergent, got a curling iron and some makeup, so I'm excited to try this different color uh, matte lip that I got because this one, it's called No Rules, and that is one that I have not tried yet, so try to go with something a little different than I would normally pick, so hopefully it looks good on me um, but yeah let's go ahead let's get into the receipt I was using the $20 off of an $80 purchase CRT which is crazy to think that all of this would cost $80 but yes it is um, and then also I had a $2 off a $2 purchase so really um, it's like getting $22 off of an $80 purchase right here so anyways okay let's go ahead let's look at the receipt We've got our items here, everything rang up correctly, so no issues there. Right down here, you can see our $5 CoverGirl coupon, $3 on gain, $4 on gain, the $20 off 80, $5 off of Revlon, and then I had my $10 Care Pass. If you're unfamiliar with Care Pass, you pay $5 a month, but they give you a $10 extra buck a month. So essentially, it's like $5 for free. So if you're already shopping at CVS a lot, definitely recommend the Care Pass, which also 
subtract that other five dollars a little later um, since it only cost me five bucks but so you can see all my extra bucks that I use to help lower my out-of-pocket costs you can see the two dollars off your purchase coupon and that right there got me down to two dollars and 47 cents plus tax on this purchase so on this we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add back in the extra bucks and look at how much your cost would be if you are not using those extra bucks to lower it. So 247, then we add back in, let's see here, $37.88 in extra bucks that I used. So really your total would be about $40.35 after the CVS coupons and the manufacturer coupons. Now on this one, let me show you the extra bucks we got back. We got back $10 for the Conair products. We got back $10 for the $30 purchase. And we got back an $8 extra buck for the Revlon deal, as well as that $4 for the CoverGirl that they had to manually print for me. So there's that. Um, another thing I wanna show you guys, as you can see right down here on the receipt, it'll show you you know, how much you have towards different things. And for example, you can see on the Revlon deal right there, it's been 20 to eight. I was at 19.78, but obviously I still earned the $8 extra buck. As you can see right here, it doesn't even show the cover girl at all, which I thought was really weird. So like I said, just keep an eye on that if you're doing the cover girl deal to make sure you get your extra buck that you're expecting, whether you're doing the spend 12, get four, or I think the other option was spend 18, get seven, something like that. So on this one, we are going to take the 40, 35. We're going to subtract the extra bucks we got back. That would get us down to about $8.35 for all of this, but I'm also subtracting $5 because I have a $10 care pass, so it's kind of like using a $10 extra buck, but I only paid $5 for that. So after you subtract that, the final cost for everything today is $3.35, and I think that's a fantastic deal. Not only did I have very low out-of-pocket costs by using those extra bucks to lower out-of-pocket, but overall, the final cost being less than four bucks for all of these items. I mean, we got a curling iron. We got lipsticks that cost, you know, $11, $12 a piece. We got this big old thing of gain. So I'm very happy with this haul. Let me know down in the comments below if you're going to grab any of the same deals. And as always, I appreciate you guys so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below. If you're not subscribed yet, it's completely free to do so. And if you hit the notification bell, it should notify you anytime I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.